Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will see the design and development of this beautiful dashboard in Power BI software. So our today's topic is HR Analytics dashboard. This dashboard is completely dynamic and interactive, which is developed in Power BI software. So in our today's video, we will see the complete development from scratch to this beautiful piece in Power BI. So here you can see uh, I have designed several elements. The first you can see at the top there is KPIs here like five to six KPIs are there. Then we have some charts like we have here the pie chart. Then we have the frequency chart which is converted after that into the stack bar chart. Then we have this matrix chart we call uh, it as a heat map also. Then we have this bar chart and then we have this multiple donut chart. So we will see the design of each and everything in this particular video. So now going ahead, you can see this dashboard is completely dynamic. So above you can see I have added one slicer or also we call it as a filter in the form of buttons. So when I click on any of these particular educations, you can see the dashboard is changing with respect to that. When I'm clicking on bachelor's degree on high schools or on the master's degree, the values will change with respect to that filter and it will show us the that regarding values, right? So as well as whenever I'm clicking on any of the slice of this pie chart, the values uh, are interactive and they will give filter out with respect to that as well similarly for this also we are getting the same similarly when i am clicking on uh, clicking on this particular bar chart we will see uh, the values will be filtered out with respect to that here as well on technical on medical likewise so we will see the design of this complete dashboard in power bi in this video also i have made uh, multiple dashboards in some other tools also like another visualization tools like uh, tab view cell so the links of those particular dashboard i will mention in the description box of this video so you can go ahead and explore that as well and if you're interested to uh, see this particular dashboard design same dashboard design if you want to uh, or you are interested to design it in uh, tab view or in excel and if you want me to design you can add your views in the comments and i will definitely go ahead and uh, make a video all right so now before wasting time we will start the uh, design of this particular dashboard and before that guys i request you if you have not already subscribed if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel uh, like the video and uh, click on the notification bell so you will receive the notification of this beautiful dashboards whenever i will be making in the future okay so let's start the design of this beautiful dashboard in power bi so first i will open a new file uh, a blank file for power bi so whenever you will be opening this file you will get this ui so before starting what we will have to do we will have to connect to our data so the data which we are using here is uh, almost having 1500 rows are there and several columns are there so what i will do i will show you the data first so this is the file uh, in which our data is there uh, this data i will uh, this file i will be attaching uh, in the description box the link of this file i will be attaching in the description box and you will be able to download from there for your practice purpose all right so you can see there are almost 1500 rows are there for this particular dashboard which we are going to design and there are a number of columns are there where you can see there are number of columns are there so out of this i have uh, hardly used 40 to 50 percent of columns in our design and i request you to all uh, like you can explore more and more in this particular data and you can design your own dashboard instead of copying mine so you can copy mine for practice purpose but uh, i request you to explore more and prepare a great visualization out of that and uh, so that will also explore for you it will be helpful for you as well uh, in terms of practice purpose all right or in hands-on purpose so first thing first always remember guys uh, the thumb rule in uh, in data analytics is you should always study the data first all right so once you study the data and once you have understood the data the 60 to 70 percent of your work is already done right so so first study the data see what at what level the granularity of the data is there so how the data is flowing from top to bottom so how the uh, interlinking of one column to another column is there so once you have understood that it will be very much easy for you to design or to bring up the visualization right so if you don't know the data it will be very hard for you to uh, design anything right or to visualize anything in your any tool let it be power bi or tableau so always remember study of data is very much important then and then go for the designing so i request you all to go thoroughly to this file see what columns are there what 
what information we are getting from here and then start your visualization so i have already gone through the data so i will start the design so i will go in our power bi file so as this is an excel connector so we can click either here or we can go in get data and click on excel workbook all right so we have our hr data and we will open it so it says that the file is already in use so if the file is open in background you will have to close it first and then you will have to connect it so i will go ahead and connect again char data open all right so it will take some time to load depending upon your system ram and configuration so once it is loaded you can see uh, there are different sheets available in this particular file so i will be using this sheet all right and it will give you the snapshot of this particular data here so how the data will be looking like what columns are there and when you click on load so all the data will be loaded in this particular file so it will take again some time to load the data depending upon your size of data right as well as your configuration so it will take some time few seconds to load all right so all the data has been added so now what we will do we are right now on report page i will go ahead and uh, shift myself to data page all right so the data page is nothing but all the data whatever you are having will be uh, shown here you can see what are what are the counts of the data that is 1471 all right so now you can see guys here the headers uh, which are available in our excel data was something else and here the header we are looking like something else so headers are given as column 1 column 2 column 3 so what power bi has done is it or uh, some somehow power bi have consider our header as well as headers as a rows right it has consider as our headers as a raw data and it have not consider it as headers right so if we are seeing here like columns column 1 column 2 column 3 up to what 41 columns are there so now we have to change this we cannot design our uh, dashboard with this with this uh, like uh, data error so what we have to do we will go again back to the report page then we will click on transform data okay so whenever you will be clicking on this transform data it will take us to the power query editor all right so we are in the power query editor so uh, it is attached directly to power bi so in power query editor what we do we can write some and queries as well uh, we can add columns with on based on some condition based on some formulas all right we can transform our data and many more things are there to explore here right so you can see here our first row is actually it is considered by power bi as a raw data right but it should be what it should be considered as an headers right so whenever you are in home tab there is one option available like use first row as header right so whenever i am clicking on use first row as header so it is automatically taking what our first row it is considering as header and now our data is perfectly fine to make our dashboard all right so this is the thing what we have to do first and here we can see there are applied steps here right so up to here everything is okay then you can see i have promoted the headers means what what steps we are doing in whatever in uh, power query those steps will be visible in this particular window that is applied steps whenever you have to delete you can delete it from here if you have to change you have to change it from here any formulas whatever steps you are doing everything will be listed here and you can see the what uh, hierarchy is there uh, of what steps we have applied in this particular data all right so this is also important thing like whenever you are working on large data and you have made so many of changes in your data so many of transformations and you have to go back and change some of them so you will find it here all right so now next is what you will again have to go to the home tab and here one option is that that is close and apply all right so close and apply means what whenever we are clicking on this we will go back again to our power bi and whatever changes we have applied in power query those will be applied in our power bi software all right so now we will go back again in our data tab and you can see now our headers are perfectly fine right so our power bi have taken correct headers with the help of power query so now we will start our design all right so whatever page which you are seeing here i will not uh change anything if you want you can go in view page and you can change the layout of whatever the page you are seeing here all right so let me show you whenever i'm clicking here i will hide this all the tabs so whatever the dotted lines you are seeing here right so this dotted lines is called as so uh, the area between your dotted lines is called as canvas right so canvas is nothing but all your dashboard will be uh designed and visualized in this particular canvas only 
and the outside uh, whatever space outside the uh, dotted area so that and inside the dotted area it will be considered as a background so this total space from end to end will be considered as a background so this is some important point to know all right so now we will start our design and in first design we will be doing it for kpis okay so for, for kpis what i will do so we have here a uh, number of uh, what we can say the charts and graphs are available here so these are uh, some common charts uh, which power bi provide you with this software you can also go here and click and get more visuals uh, which are the certified visuals of microsoft or some another visuals which are not certified are also available for you to use all right so now what we will do first we will go on card okay i will click on card and you can see our card has been uh, seen in the visualization and one tab has been activated that is build visual and this is the uh, what we can say uh, the field tab whatever we are uh, we will be uh, taking uh, this what you can say the dimensions or the measures and we will be dragging it over here so you can see whatever the uh, fields uh, in front of them wherever we are seeing the summation symbol those are considered as a measure by default by power pi and a default aggregation has been applied for it all right as well as whenever we are not seeing any symbol those are considered as a dimensions that is uh, those are a categorical field and those are treated as a dimension in power bi all right so this by default we are getting this distinguish uh, in power bi power bi is smart enough to identify what are measures and what are dimensions all right so now we will start design our first kpi that is overall employees all right so for this what we will do we will take the employee count okay i will take this field and i will put it into the fields in build visual so you can see we will be getting the employee count here so i will just reduce the size of this and i will place it over here all right so what i have to do uh, first what i will do i will add a background image right now only so what we are going to do in power bi is we will be designing all the charts in this particular canvas only okay we will be not going on new page and design one uh, chart here copy this and go back to our dashboard right so that that should be done in power bi uh, sorry in tableau because in tableau what we have to do we have to design each sheet and then we have to prepare the dashboard so in power bi gives us uh, liberty or flexibility to design everything in one page itself all right so we will be following the same i will design everything in this page only so what we have to do first uh, whatever background which i have used here right in this particular dashboard i will first apply the background here all right so to apply the black background you have to first click on blank space okay so blank space should be selected and then you have your option that is format your report page okay in format you have to apply the image on canvas right we have to apply the on canvas we don't want to apply it as a wallpaper so we will go on canvas and from here we, i will choose an image here and i have this gradient background that is gradient purple background so if you want to download this on google you can go ahead and search just uh, like a gradient wall uh, background wallpaper and you can download it from google all right i will open it but you can see it is not visible here why because the transparency is 100 percent so whatever i will do i will make it as eight percent okay for me i have taken it as eight percent as per your choice whatever design you have to make you can make it all right so i will put it as eight percent and instead of normal fit i will uh, do it as fit that is it will be perfectly fit it in my canvas all right so this is something important first i have already added the background and then i will start designing up this i will format this see one kpi is if one kpi is designed the other kpis are very much easy we will be just copying this card and then we will design the other kpi so we will go in this particular format your visual see always remember you have to first select your visual then these tabs are activated so i will go in format your visual i don't want our uh, the title at below or label so i will just off this okay and i will go in general i will go in title and i will on this and i will add my title as overall overall employees right so i will just uh, make the horizontal alignment as center and i will uh, change the font to the sageo ui semi bold okay so this is the font which i will be using then i will go in the properties and i will change the height to i will be using height as one one zero and uh, width as to what 
all right so this will be my width and height and this is my properties then i will go in effects tab and i will change the background of this particular card so from here i will change the background to uh, i will use more colors and here i will be using this color code for my background of this particular card so i will just copy this control c i will go in uh, colors more colors and i will just paste it over here enter all right so you can use same the same color code depending upon you or you can use some another color as well so this is my color code which i will be using and i will add the transparency as 75 percent all right so you can see uh, i will what i will do some more uh, changes here i will go ahead in uh, uh, general and i will uh, go to visual in call out value what i will do i will oops, i will change the background color to white okay and in general i will change the title as well the background color of title that is text color to light white okay some gray light gray all right so now next thing is go to general and we will give border to this particular card so we have visual border here i will on this and i will use the same color which i've used for background and i will use the rounded corner radius as 15 all right so you can see this is our first kpi has been designed guys all right so now what we will do we will just copy this control c control v and i will keep it over here all right so what we will be doing we will be using same kpi whatever the design whatever background color everything which we have applied here we will be just copying it and placing it over here all right so that we will be not wasting our time in designing everything again and again all right so now this is our second and now we will go ahead and change uh the title for this so next is our attrition so guys attrition is nothing but uh whenever company let's say company have 1000 of employees so if uh employee of that company is leaving that company so that is nothing but attrition means there is one attrition so like he has left the company all right so we have to find whether the attrition like who how many overall out of overall companies how many of them have left the company till date all right so this is attrition now what we have to do we cannot use the same count of employee here so we have to use the attrition here so one i will just control z all right so now to show here the attrition what we have to do we have to use a formula over here and we have to add a custom column so what we will do we will go ahead in home tab and again we will go back to transform data all right so we are again in power query editor so you can see there is one column that is first column itself we have attrition if it is yes means what that employee has left the company if it is no means he is still working he is still working in that company all right as an employee so we have to find how many count of yes is there so for that what we will do we will add in column over here so we will go in add column and we will add as a conditional column over here okay so there are different types of column which we can add that is custom column or a conditional column right so now in this video what we have conditional column we have a by default if statement so if i will name it as attrition count so this column will be used as attrition count and if the attrition it is equal to s okay if this is yes then i, I want output as one right so wherever there will be yes the output will be given as one and whenever there is no if it is no else i will put it as zero okay and i will click on okay so you can see i have got a new column over here in our particular data set is that is attrition count by using conditional column statement all right so now we will go again to home and click on close and apply okay so whenever we will click on close and apply it will take some time and it will show that particular column in our power bi data you can see it here all right so now what we will do we will change the data type of this column so it is text right now so we will change it to whole number all right yes okay so now this data type of this particular column has been changed initially it was a text so if we are taking summation of text it will not give us the correct result so we will have to convert it into whole number now we will go again back to our report and now you can see a new column has been added over here that is attrition count right so this is nothing but attrition count so we will take this and we will put it over first we will select our visual that is and we will put it over here 
right so you can see it has replaced the overall employee and it we are now we are seeing the attrition count right so very much easy guys now we will see our third kpi control c control v and we will place it over here all right so now our next is what we will change the title of this in general and here we will change it as attrition rate all right so now attrition rate is nothing but guys so like out of 1472 37 employees has been left the company so what is rate of attrition means at what rate the companies have uh, or the employees have left that company like uh, it is nothing but the sum of two, like sum of attrition divided by sum of employees like 237 divided by 1470 is nothing but our attrition rate so now how to do that okay so now we will have to add add a measure over here right so there are two types like either we can add a calculated column or we can add a measure so whenever we are working on aggregations we will have to always add a measure right so for this measure we will be using a dax query or the dax language over here so what we will do we will right click on hr data and we will click on new measure okay so you can see uh, we we have a name uh, instead of measure i will be giving the name as attrition rate okay so this is our attrition rate and we will have to write a formula over here so i will take it as sum of attrition count okay it is nothing but the sum of attrition count i will close the parenthesis divided by sum of employee count and i will close this all right so this is what sum of attrition divided by sum of employee count so i will just click on this and you can see our new column has been created here and whatever you can see a calculator symbol is there in front of this particular measure so it it indicates that this is a measure which is calculated in power bi using a tax language okay so now we'll close this and now what we will do we will put it into this right so it is giving us as 0.16 so we will have to convert this into a what we can say a uh, percentage value so i will select this column first okay we will have to select this column i will just close this and from here you can say a general we are seeing here so we will click on percentage okay so we are getting here a percentage value and by if you want like how much decimal points you want to show you can show it from here so i will show it with two decimal points so this is our attrition rate guys we have designed our third kpi then we will go for our fourth one all right so we will design our fourth kpi that is nothing but we will change the title of this first and for this what active employees all right so our active employees is nothing but overall employees minus the attrition means the employees which has left the company so again for this we will have to uh, write down a measure in the form of dax language so for that again we will have to right click here and i will choose a new measure here and i will name it as active employees and for this again we will do sum of employee count sum of employee count minus sum of attrition right sum of attrition count close this okay so you can see new column has been created new measure has been created so i will just take it and place it over here all right so this is our what active employees so we have designed our fourth and we will be designing our last kpi all right so our last kpi is nothing but what we will have to uh, take the average age so out of all the employees uh, which which are at different age so what is the average age employees which are working in our company so i will change this general title and i will change here as average age all right so for this what we will be doing is we already have age column here okay i will just take it and put it over here so we already have this so but we can see we are getting a sum over here right but we want average of this <coughs> so what we can do in fields we have a small drop down over here 
and instead of sum i will click on average right so it is giving me a fraction value so i want to change it to a whole number so what i will do i will go in this particular format visual in call out values okay and i have a decimal point here as zero i will put it as zero right so i will be getting as a perfect age and this kpi string has been designed guys okay the strip of kpi has been designed so our uh, we can say 30 percent of work is already completed the next one is to design the charts so next we will start the design of a pie chart all right so for pie chart in our build visual we have a pie chart over here whenever click on this uh, it will bring us the pie chart over here all right so now in pie chart what we will need we will need one legend and one values okay so the legend which what we are using here is a department field so i will take this and put it into the legend and i will be showing as attrition count on this so i will take the attrition count and i will put it into the values okay so we are getting this pie chart over here so i will quickly build this and i will go in first in general and i will change the property of this first i will specify the height as to 60 and i will use the width as uh, let's say 385 all right and now we will quickly add the backgrounds for this so i will just go ahead in this particular and in general i will change the title first uh, i will be using the title as department wise attrition okay we will be using it as department wise attrition spelling all right department wise attrition and i will make it as center next is we will add a background over here so the background is the last color which we have used is so let me check it this one so we will be using this color and i will be using the background as transparency as 75 percent again we will add the visual as well the background border for this same color and with round corners of 15 radius right so now we can see our uh, this chart has been designed just we will have to uh, what we can say build our format our visual more so i will go again in general i will change the title and i will change its color as uh, the off gray all right uh, so this i will be and i will add the background color as well so i will go in more color and i will be using the color code over here as 8c eight c two eight a zero okay enter so you can use the same code or if you want to use something different you can use it over here okay so this is my what a background uh, of this particular that is title all right so now we will change the font color of uh, the legends as well all right so we will go into visual we will go into the details and in values we have here and we will change the color to white all right then for legends as well i will change the text color to uh, i will use it as yellow okay this is fine right and i will change the form font to ui semi bold all right so this looks good uh, let's decrease this uh, not required this is good all right so now a pie chart looks good all right so you can see uh with with the department wise you can see over here that uh out of we can see in the tooltip like in sales department 92 people have left the company that is out of total it is like 38.82 percent as well as when we see for hr department 12 people has been left and that is five percent of the total attrition like five percent of total 237 and the large number of people are left from r d department all right so this is something worrying about the r d department like 133 people have been left that is more than 50 percent right so this is something a good insight for uh, our hr department like from which department the employees are leaving most all right so now next is what uh, i will just take this a little up all right by using arrow keys you can change the position of your uh, what we can see the charts which you are using here all right so next we will design our frequency chart which will be converted later into stack bar chart uh, which where we will see the number of employees in that particular age group with respect to our gender whether they are male or whether they are female all right 
so for that what we will do we will take first a column chart over here so i will put a column chart and i will put it over here properly first all right the next what we have to do we have to put the field in x-axis y-axis and uh, whatever other things we require all right so first i will take the age band i will put the age band on x-axis so we already have a field that is cf age band i will put it on x-axis then i want to see how many number of employees are there in that particular age band so i will take the age band and i will take the employee count and i will put it on y-axis so you can see with respect to the age band like from 25 to 34 we have this many number of employees like 5554 or like sorry 554 employees are there in that particular age band all right so now what i have to do i would i want to see the break of this particular count of employee with respect to gender so i will take the gender we have a field gender over here and i will put it into the legends all right so you can see it has been bro bro broken out with respect to that particular gender all right so now what we will do we will go ahead and change the title first i will go ahead and in general i will go ahead and change the title of this first and i will name the title as number of employee by age group all right so this is our title then employees all right so number of employee by age group so we will quickly do the formatting i will change the background color quickly you know these steps all the things i will change the background color so this uh, and i will change the effect and i will change the background of this i will increase the transparency to 75 i will change the visual border as well and i will make it as 15 percent uh, similarly i will change uh, the data labels as well for this so i will uh, click on the data label so i can see what what values it is showing so it is already taking in white color so that is good for us then i will i don't want the y-axis y because we are already showing the data labels over here so i will off the y-axis i don't want the grid lines as well so the grid lines has been also gone automatically when we are offering uh, like we are deactivating the y-axis then i will go on x-axis i want to change the font color of this so i will go ahead and change the font of these values as and i will make it as of three all right and i will change the title to yellow okay and i will change the font to sergio semi bold similarly for this as well all right and for this on y-axis i will deactivate the title all right then for legends as well we want to change the font color so i will on data labels uh, on legends okay on text i will change the font color first i will change it to bold semi bold and i will use it at yellow all right uh, we want to make the title as white as well in general in effects uh, sorry in title and make it as all right so this chart has been designed but one more thing which is very much important guys it is not been sorted uh, as per our requirement okay by default either uh, we have an option of sorting in here it has it is already uh, either it is sorted by age band or either it is sorted by employee count okay if you want the manual sorting right if you want manual sorting like uh, i should see the under 45 first then we we should see 25 to 34 then to 35 to 44 likewise okay so here you can see it is already disturbed so what we have to do in this case is we will have to create a conditional column into our power query or you can create it over here as well and then we will have to uh, sort that particular uh, field which we are using here with respect to our uh, that particular newly created field so uh, instead of explaining i will show you what we, what we are exactly going to do so for this what we will go i will go in home tab and i will again go back to our transform data so i will go back in our power query editor so with respect to this age band what i have to do i want to give the numberings first okay so what i have to do uh, under 25 i will give it as one number then 25 to 34 second 35 to 44 third then we have and one more that is 45 to 54 as third and over 55 as five number okay so this is my serial of sorting in my particular chart so how can i give the first numbers or how can i create a column where i can give the numbers of this age group so previously we have done this for attrition 
again we will do for here same that is we will create a conditional column over here so this there are so many ways to do this guys i will be using the simpler way because most of the you will be beginning beginner over here uh, which will be uh, or who will be using this hands on uh, practice dashboard all right you can create a table and then you can create a what we can say a relationship between your tables also that is also one way so first now i will mention it as sort age okay you can give anything uh, so i will take it as cf age band so if age band is equal to uh, let me check what is under 25 so make sure your there are no spelling mistake over here right whatever the data uh, is there whatever the spell in data is there same should be used here if it is under 25 i want to use it as one i will add one more clause same the cf age band if it is equal to 25 space hyphen space 34 okay so if it is between 25 to 34 i will give it as number two and i will add a clause again again the cf age band the next band will be our 35 to 44 i will give it as third number i will add one more clause cf age band and if it is between 45 to 54 i will give it as four okay and one more is remaining that is over 55 so by default i will give it as else five all right i will click on okay so you can see our new column has been created here okay and by default uh, it is taking a, a, the data type as uh, whole number okay if it is not whole number convert it into whole number if it is in text it will not give us the correct result all right so now we have already created a column with respect to our age numbers and now we will go back in home and we will close and apply okay so we have clicked on close and apply it will take some time to load then we will go on our chart and we will select our by which field we have to sort it so i will select this field first I will go in sort by and I will choose the newly created field that we have done in Power Query. I will choose it as shortage. Okay. So now I will go in this in sort axis. I will choose it as CF age band. It is selected as employee account. I will choose it at CF age band. All right. So now uh, this has been created. So just we will go ahead. And, uh, we have got it into reverse order. So we will sort it by ascending. All right. So what we have got our uh, what we can say the age band very correctly. So this is the serial of our age band, and in this serial only we want to view our chart. All right. So like under 25, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, likewise. All right. So this is in serial, which we have sorted by using a new column. All right. So this is our third chart. First is KPI, then we have designed the uh, pie chart, and now we have designed our frequency chart as well. So the remaining dashboard design we will see in the second part because this video has been very much long. So we have not yet added the filters over here. Uh, so like by using that filters how the values are changing. We have also not added the interactive filters properly. So whenever I'm clicking here, so those are changing. The values are changing, but those are not changing correctly, right? So you can see it is only highlighting. The KPIs are changing, but this is only highlighting. So this everything we will see how to uh, sort it out in the next field, next part. So I will put the description. Uh, sorry i will put the link of the next part into the description of this video and you can see that as well and you can continue with your design thank you guys